Hiya, Noah. Hiya. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling a bit weird. I've been sleeping a lot, have you? Yeah, I didn't get up today. I just stayed in my bed. Yeah. Getting up seemed too hard. It feels like being alive and being awake is just... Oh, God, look at this wee dog. Just feels like too much, like a hard job at times. And facing reality is sometimes too much like a hard job. And I have to still... Like you, you've got your job tonight. You've got your radio show. Yeah. And I, I had to help launch my new book, which is called Nothing Left Unsaid. And it's about a woman who is in the Royal Infirmary who has cancer and she's dying. And I wrote that before I'd ever known that I was going to be in the Royal Infirmary and have cancer. So I think my next book should be about me and Michael Fassbender and all the Sandras having a night out doing the caravan, winning the lottery. What do you think my next book should be? I don't know, but Honey just looked at me like, that's never happening. Oh, you shut <clears> up, <throat> you wee monster. Um, how are you feeling? A lot of people are really concerned about how this is affecting you as well, which is quite rightly so, you know? I know, but you don't... I don't want to keep saying it, but you've got cancer. So I know, how I'm feeling is by the by, because the main... The main priority has to be that you've got cancer and everything else has to come second and that's fine and that's fine. So I know people are worried but but yeah, but you're feeling you. But your feelings are important too, Ashley. I mean, it's one of these things where, I, I mean, I go to bed and I, I worry and I think, you know, how is she coping? And I know that you're no coping great. And uh, there isn't anything I can do to fix that. And there isn't a book or a film or an inspirational speech or a meme or anything anybody can say. My daughter is heartbroken that I am living with cancer. And there isn't any way ruin that. There isn't anything to soften that. No. There isn't. And, and I can only... Because I'm already in social situations, yeah. masking... Already yeah. low key. Yeah. I, What's masking when, when you've got I, autism? When you pretend to be a normal person so the muggles like you. All right. Um. So I'm already doing that, and then I added on to that just the way people either look at you or there's just something. Yeah. And like I don't I don't say don't say how's your mum. You know how she is. It's mm. on Facebook and Twitter. Look mm. there. Yeah. Don't say. And I, I feel this very it restricts your it restricts your conversation because my pals keep on saying why are you no talking what, what's going on i don't want to talk about it there is nothing i can say it's not like we can talk this out get to the end and go oh that's the solution no there isn't any solution no and i don't know how you're going to feel when i have to get rid of my hair i'll be fine you're gonna i just i'm scared that my face is going to do things and i can't control it i have been used to your face a long time oh yes i know you, you. were the, the you were the newborn baby that stared at me as if to say who the fuck are you <laughs> that's fine i, I know face on since i was born apparently yeah, yeah. you're gonna be fine we're, we're gonna be fine i um, just I, I think it's just a weird a weird quagmire where i don't know the rules and then because on top of that there's covid and and your immune system is going to be weak and am i allowed to work am i allowed to go out to work yeah you what are. if i bring home something should i go and stay somewhere else while you're doing this no i don't know we will when you're out at work when you come back you have a shower you go in there and what was the one film karen silkwood mm -hmm. day the one in the shower and stay away from each other for a couple of days. You know, we don't have to be in the same space. I know, space. but that's difficult because he's not being very helpful to you. So I'm your one support. So then I'm not taking myself away from... Like, I've been offered a gig in London in March. I don't want to go. I don't want to go because I don't want to leave you. And I don't want you to... You need to go. No, I don't want to leave you. I don't want to leave you. A, by yourself with him because he might go into a depressive state where he can't drive you somewhere and then and then you don't know how to work Uber because you don't trust credit cards on a phone. Right, so, okay. Shirley will drive me about. So I you do, go to I, London no, and do I a gig. No, I'm going to stay until you're better. Yeah, but that's a stupid thing, well, I've actually. just decided and it's my decision to make. It's not yours to say. I don't want to go somewhere. <laughs> die and i wasn't here ashley i'm not gonna die when you go to london i'm not that fucking selfish <laughs> oh, hang on no, the it's your, your family and you yeah. are like that yeah. grand had a stroke the minute we went to america <laughs> you can't even think like that you i need... don't want to i just want to stay here and look after you and that's 
well. Sad. Your dad's gonna look after He's me. Bad Shudley. At her. I know, but Shudley's and gonna look. It makes you feel bad. It makes me feel bad and because he's got autism and what's wrong and he's, and he's like, got depression. You said to him, what the, is there a bus that goes to get my flu jab? And he said, your bus is do go there. Yeah. And then you got upset because mm. he was supposed to say, no, I'm going to take you. Why would you need to know if a bus goes <laughs> yeah, there? But he, but he was like, but she asked if a bus went there. <laughs> He's got autism, actually. I understand that. It's but this all can he be on you. Do you hear me? Mm-hmm. You can't just look after me. You have to look after you. Because that will really annoy me. That will really annoy me if you limit your life just to looking after me. I mean, already honey's bored with it, look. I can't. The frame, she's completely gone flat, so she's out of flame. Oh, you're, you're honey, are you a flame? <laughs> flame, flame. Are flame. you a flame? <laughs> well, look. We will just continue so this sorry con- for getting upset. Don't be sorry oh, for fuck's sake, don't be sorry. We will continue this conversation tomorrow. Okay. You get your show tonight. Yes, I You're have. on BBC Radio Scotland. You can listen to Ashley's story from ten PM to one AM every Friday on BBC Radio Scotland or check her out on the BBC Sounds app or website. Get in touch tonight via text eight zero two nine five. Let us know. Who's your favourite film star? There you go. In I love you. Every- when I'm like, hey guys, what's going on? Get in touch via text and the song comes on. I'm like, a little ball. <laughs> Stop the video. We'll speak tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye everybody. Bye-bye.